create spawn manager in 5 minutes. First, create an Cody game object. Rename it object. Change the sprite color and change the transform. Drag the object back to the asset to create a prefab. This will be the object being spawned when the game starts. A prefab is an object with all components you need to be prepared and packaged in. Now create an empty object. Rename it Spawn Manager. And then create a script name Spawn Script. Click the Spawn Manager and drag the script to the Spawn Manager. Now open the script. This will be the script I will be going through with you. You can get this C script from the description box below if you don't feel like typing. These are the variables we'll be exposing by setting it as a public which means it will be shown in a component inspector later on. This variable holds a reference to the spawner size because we have to tell the object where to spawn from. Next variable holds the color of this so we can see the area of the spawner. This variable will hold the target object where the spawner will be positioned. Next variable will hold the object prefab. This is what will be instantiating later on. Lastly, the last variable will set how many objects can spawn. Now, let's go where we implement the Gizmos box. In this inner bracket of code, will trigger where the object is not empty. In this line of code, we assign the color variable to the Gizmos color. This is where we tell the Unity to draw in the scene view from where and what size it is. Going back to the Unity, you can delete the object from hierarchy. Drag the object prefab and put it in the script and the spawn manager as target object. You can change this into anything you want like player or other object. Also, add how many objects you want to spawn. You can change the spawner size. Let's just put 10 by 10 for now and change the color. As you can see, when you change the color, it's also changed the gizmo color in scene view. Let's go back to the script to spawn the object. I have enumerator for spawning object. In the line here, it generates random value for object to spawn. To generate value, from horizontal line, I use spawner size.x and divide it by 2. Same goes for the vertical line. And then in this line, we instantiate the object to generate spawn pause with quaternion identity. Lastly, subtract 1 from object count. In the start function, we have a while statement. It will call the check spawn function to check if the object count is greater than 0. If so, it will return true and start the quarantine else it will return false and do nothing if we start the game in the unity it will spawn 10 objects here i add a ui button so i don't have to restart the game when i want to spawn an object there is no complicated edit to the button, I just change the color and add the spawn manager on the button on click events. From the script, I only move the while loop to a page function because we want to spawn object every time we click the UI button and I made new function that will add a number to object count. Going back to the unity, I add the function and change the value to 10 so every time I click the button, it will spawn 10 objects. So guys, if you want to make the spawner follow the target object like what you see in my game, all you have to do is add new vector tree called Gizmos Pause and put X position and Y position of the target object then add the Gizmos Pause to the spawn pause. Now, if you go back to the Unity, as you can see, you can move the target object with the spawner. That's it for the tutorial. Please like and subscribe for more video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.